Hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Isabra. Nice to see you. Saul, good to see you. Uh, Ruth Marielos, good to see you. Claudia, Luis, and Carlos. Now I can earlier. <laughs> I can earlier to the class. How are you, teacher? Oh, good. A good little hot. Evening. Good evening. A little hot over here, even though it, um, a big storm just passed by. Uh, but it's hot. You're, you're on San Salvador right now. Yes, I, I live in San Salvador. Actually, I live in San Salvador. For the last, oh, I don't remember. Since I moved uh, from Chalatenango to here, long oh. time ago. <laughs> okay, that's great. Yeah, but the, uh, Chalate, where, where I used to live, is a kind of hot place uh, by Nueva Concepción. It's, uh -oh. it's kind of hot, but uh, now it's, I don't, excuse me, my computer is, needs to be rechort. Okay, mm -hmm. let's see how many nice students out of 20. <clears throat> Are you ready? Yep. Almost. Any questions for the topic that we were talking, guys? Uh, let's see. Uh, we were talking about... Um, let me go back a little bit. Um, Any anything about this one? The noun phrases containing relative clauses. Uh, meanwhile, the other can remember that when you say one thing that I really miss is my man's cookie, or my man's cookie is one thing that I really miss. You're saying exactly the same. You're just uh, on the first one. Uh, we use one thing as a subject, and the other one as an object, but you're saying lo mismo exactamente, the same connotation, okay? Uh, one thing that I really like from El Salvador are pupusas. Uh, pupusas is one thing that I really like from my country. Exactly the same, the same. Okay, and let's see how many students, 11. I hope that they come because Okay, guys, remember that today is the last one. It's the last day. Ah, no, 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 the last one. We just have classes today and tomorrow, okay? And so let's take an advance of it. Okay, the topic, the general topic is culture, right? Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. okay, culture. So is it the same to live in El Salvador or to live in Canada? Or they're totally different. Oh, very, very different. Oh, very different. Okay. So different. Uh, so different. Okay, very different. So different. Good, excellent. We use uh, some words. And what are the differences if you can mention? The weather. The weather. Yeah. The weather. Canada. The, the language. The, the language. language. Good. The food. The food, ah, food. So you referring to Canadian food or food from all over the world? It's different from all over the world. Yeah, because there in Canada, in Canada, the people that there are different kind of food over the world. In fact, there is a restaurant, a pupuseria restaurant, back there in Toronto. Um, my sister lives there and we went to uh, buy some pupusas to get some pupusas <laughs> over oh. there. So Salvadorians are 
put in their part, their, uh, the culture. So the culture is totally different, the language, the food, the costumes, the way they wear, the weather. So you will find many, many things. So let's see these people over here. Um, have you practiced with the audios that I share with you guys? The sentences? Were you practicing? Mm -hmm. Have, okay. Okay, practice the conversations. Listen, like a couple of times the conversation, then you play the first line, stop the audio, and then you say you say the words. So that's called uh, role playing. Okay, what do you see on the picture over there? Can you tell me as much information as you can about the picture? What do you think is happening there? I think to a, a couple have uh, two guesses. Ah, they have um, a, they have some guesses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what they else? Invited, invited to. Okay, maybe the couple invited the these two women uh, over uh, uh, their house, their home. Okay. Are they wearing the same clothes, type of clothes, or they are wearing different ladies? Uh-huh. Are they wearing the same clothes or they are wearing different? Do they wear the same or different? Uh huh. Is that what, what? What do you think? Mm, meeting um uh, people. <laughs> okay, meeting the people. Okay, okay. Maybe so. So let's see. What's the costume? Is the conversation? And what is the? Let's see over here down. Uh, Glendy. What is the learning objective? Glendy? Learning objective. Practice a conversation about custom, the clauses with when and its context. Ah, see clauses with it when and in context. I think this is a review of, the, of this form. Okay, so let's see what's going on on the conversation. Uh, Page 33. Exercise 7. Conversation. What's the custom? Part A. Listen and practice. Guess what? I just got invited to my teacher's house for dinner. Oh, how nice. Yes, but what do you do here when you're invited to someone's house? Well, it's the custom to bring a small gift. Really? Like what? Oh, maybe some flowers or chocolates. And is it all right to bring a friend along? Well, if you want to bring someone, you're expected to call first and ask if it's okay. Uh-huh. Let me play it again. And let me ask Renato later. Uh, what's going on with the conversation, uh, I, Renato? Let's listen. Page 33. Exercise 7. Conversation. What's the custom? Part A. Listen and practice. Guess what? I just got invited to my teacher's house for dinner. Oh, how nice. Yes, but what do you do here when you're invited to someone's house? Well, it's the custom to bring a small gift. Really? Like what? Oh, maybe some flowers or chocolates. And is it all right to bring a friend along? Well, if you want to bring someone, you're expected to call first and ask if it's okay. Uh huh, Renato, and you don't words. What's going on in the conversation? What's happening? Renato, are you there? Yes. Um... Uh huh. 
uh, she invited another person and ah. a small gift. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you, Renato. Very good. Rebecca Granados, what else can you ask? Can you add? Can you add something extra, another extra information about the, the conversation and your own words, of course? Rebecca? Uh, maybe she has problems with Sylvia, Tatiana, and your own words. What what else can you add about the conversation? Uh, someone can help. Anyone? Yeah, me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. I understand is one person is here living in the in the other country. Uh -huh. uh, he, she asked where do you want our friends? What is the uh, custom in oh, this country? Okay. And she and the friends she said he the custom is uh when uh, uh she got to the house uh, maybe give a flower and chocolate. Chocolate. Ah, okay, good, excellent. So it's important to us uh, to ask people what are the customs, okay? Um, even uh, in El Salvador, from one, uh, from uh, let's say, uh, people from Chalatenango have a little bit different custom, like people in San Miguel, okay? So even though we live in the same country but there are uh, different customs, very small uh, uh, things, but we do have them. Okay, so, and who invited, uh, uh, who invited Marta? Her Her teacher. Her teacher, yes. I they they are lucky because uh, we used to invite our teachers over there back there in San Francisco. Her teacher invited her for dinner. That's great. That's great. Okay, and like Francisco says, so uh, uh, Marta was asking for uh, uh, the costume that they have. Okay, so that's really important. So we are we're, we are seeing some uh, grammar topics that we will recall over there in the chart and the grammar and the focus um, and the focus over there. So let's see, uh, are any of these costumes familiar to you here in El Salvador? Uh, are yeah. any of, of the costumes uh, David Alonso? Yeah, when it's like, like, yes, of course. Um, if you are invited in in someone's house, oh. it's custom to bring something uh, to share with the family. Oh, okay. Rebecca Ionelli, are there other customs uh, here in the country different from these ones or the same one? I'm saying that um, other ones. Ah, okay. For example, are similar. Ah, they are similar. Like, for example, uh -huh. remember that we just chip chop over here, uh, guys. Ah, bring a small gift, okay? You're expected to bring a, a small gift or you're supposed to bring a small gift. A small present, okay? But what is what is our costume in El Salvador when I give you a present? What is the costume? What do people do first? I think... Uh huh. Get, Which, get to know what is going to be the celebration. Ah, uh, no. But I'm meaning, what is more important for us? 
the present, the type of present that we receive, or the action? The action. Ah, for you is the action. Good. The action. Yeah, okay, the action. Well, I have, I, I don't know if I'm mistaken, but um, uh, I know that in El Salvador is more important the present than the action. Because let me see if I see myself. Because what we do, this one is like putting in our ears, right? Uh, that's what I know. I don't know if I'm mistaken. But for Japanese people, it's more important the action. That I'm sure about it. But maybe you, for you and, and the people over here on this uh, channel, uh, is the action. And that will be fantastic. That would be great. Okay, guys. So this conversation introduces some forms that we're going to uh, to talk about it over there on the on the grammar. So for example, look at the following uh, incomplete statements and complete them. It's bring a small gift. Look at the sentence, some example at the conversation, some examples over here. Let me see if I can mark them. Uh -huh. What are some examples over here? Uh, let me see what do you expect when uh, someone, uh, it's a, uh, for example, look at this, this example. What is the example over there? <laughs> To bring a small gift. This is the custom to, to bring a small gift. Thank you very much, Russ. And, uh, and the other that I have over here, if you were in the zone, you're, ah, this one. Look, your and this one. Uh huh. What is the sentence? You're expected to call first and ask if it's okay. Ah, this is asking about if I can bring someone else, right? Yeah. So, uh, Saul will invite me for a party to his kids, and I, uh, I will take the cat, the dog, and <laughs> no, no. Yeah. In in other countries, uh, you need to call first. Is it okay if I bring the, my cat because he's alone? Okay, I mean other people, right? So now. So I was trying to, uh, I'm trying to simplify that, uh, uh, this one. And what will be the, 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 the same? It's. It's okay if I bring someone. Uh, this is the answer, so, so this is the answer. Oh. It's the custom to bring it, a small it's gift. The, it's the custom to bring a small gift. If you want to bring someone, what you should do? You're, there are two, there is a verb, you're expected, and there is a particle, okay? A particle is two, or the infinity two, because remember that we have all over there. So if you want to bring someone, you're expected to uh, call first is the custom to bring a small gift, okay? So this introduces, let me see if I can, ah, there, okay. Um, now, look at the sentences over there. L listen and read. Page 33. Exercise 8. Grammar Focus. Expectations. When you visit someone, it's the custom to bring a small gift. When you visit someone, you aren't supposed to arrive early. If you want to bring someone, you're expected to call first and ask. If you want to bring someone, you're supposed to check with the host. If you want to bring someone, it's not acceptable to arrive without calling first. Mm -hmm. So the conversation of, uh, on the previous slide and the previous sentences that I 
uh, we have over there, they are introducing uh, the custom, the word custom, supposed to, and expect, and accept. Look over there, uh, what word do we use when we talk about customs? We, supposed. Uh -huh, we use supposed to. And, and all the three, custom is the custom, you're supposed to, uh, you're expected to, and you're supposed to, or it's acceptable in a possible way, because this one can be, it's not acceptable to arrive on time, or it's acceptable to arrive on time without calling first. Okay, so we use two, but also the three forms use the form of the verb, of the verb, be, okay, of the verb to be. Remember, I am, you are, he is, she is, uh, we are, okay? We are supposed to, you are supposed to, you are expected to. Aha, uh -huh. from this course, from this course, what are you expected to tell me? I am expected to learn more vocabulary. Okay, uh, you're expected to learn more vocabulary. Okay, that's good. It's acceptable. But what about uh, the course requires? I expect you to call first and ask. Ah, uh, no, no, no. The, the course, this course, this English course. That would be a very good example. I expected to go to learn more grammar. For okay, you're expected to learn more grammar in order to do what? In the order to ah, in order to pass the 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 course. So, for example, guys, in this course, you're expected to or you are expected to pass the course. Okay, with A and plus. Can I say the same thing? Uh, you are supposed to pass the course with A and plus. Can I say it too? No. Mm -hmm. Yes, I can. I can. I can say it. But which one will be? The idea, the idea of passing this course, which one will be more suitable, more acceptable? You're expected to or you're supposed to? Uh huh. I expect it. You're expected to. We expect to that you. Pass the course, okay? So it says, oh, uh, Mr. Lopez expected, let me just close this one. Uh-huh, so both, both sentences are okay. If I say you're expected to pass the course with A plus, or you are supposed to pass the course with A plus, both sentences are okay. But in this case, with this specific idea, it's, it's más adecuado, Grammaticalmente hablando, usar expected, because you are expected that you pass the course, and we expect that, I don't know if I'm, so both in order not to confuse, and uh, not to confuse. So both ideas are okay, but more suitable for this one is expected too, okay? And so remember, we use the past tense of two and then supposed to, okay? Let's see if we have other example. Okay, let's do this one and maybe uh, if we get it um, better. If you plan to visit someone at home, what will be uh, you're supposed to, you're expected to, you aren't supposed, you're expected to, is the custom to, 
it's a, acceptable to share. What will be? Expected. Ah, you're expected? You're supposed to call first. But uh, uh, what what is, uh, which one expected do you mean, uh, Saul? You're expected to leave a tip or you're expected to respond uh, to response in writing? Or they are not correct? Um, because you say expected. Yes, it's expect, ah. expected to bring someone. Uh, to bring someone, yes. But yeah. it depends on the idea, okay. But uh, the best response over here is you're supposed to call first, okay. If you yeah. bring someone. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, girls. If you if you've been to a friend's home for dinner, what would be the best expectation or that we get from there, from that sentence? Take a wild guess. Uh huh. He says, "If you have been, uh, if you've been to a friend' home for dinner, you're expected to leave a tip. You aren't supposed to kiss him or her." Um, you're expected to respond in writing. Is the custom to call and thank him or her? Is acceptable to share the expenses? It's a custom to call and thank him or her mm -hmm. or her. Yes. Uh, ah, there is a mistake over there. Yeah, but that's the, the one because both is C. It's but to uh -huh. share the expenses. Yes, that but uh, that was the correct one. No, that was the correct one. Like Ella, I guess it would says, uh, it's the custom to call him and thank him or her. So it's C, but it, the that was a finger mistake. Mm -hmm. uh, when you go out on a date, uh huh. What it will be? You aren't, you aren't supposed to kiss him or her. Okay. Another option. Um, it's acceptable to share the ah, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I guess um, and uh, I was in number and uh, number three, not number four. But uh, you, you let's hold on on that idea. What about number three? When you have been invited to a wedding. Or maybe B or maybe D. Uh -huh, maybe D or maybe D. Uh, you're expected to leave a tip uh, and you're expected to respond in writing. Uh -huh. Another option? It's acceptable to share the expenses. Okay, let's see what he said. It was D. Mm -hmm. You're expected to respond in writing. Mm -hmm. That you're uh, accepting the invitation, that it means, okay. When you go out on a date. Letter F. A letter F, you're, you're, it's acceptable to share expenses, yes, okay. If the service in a restaurant is good. Letter B. Letter B. Letter B. You are, tip. You yeah, you expected to leave a tip. Good tip. A good one. Unless a uh, yeah, when uh, millionaires go to for a restaurant, they leave a good one. 
In my case, my wife put the tip and I take it away. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. a joke. No, no, it's, uh, I mean, thanks God, all of us need a peso, is, it will be good. Okay, and the last one, guys. When you meet someone for the first time, which is missing, you aren't supposed to kiss him or her. Okay, there are other examples. For example, um, uh, supposed and expected uh, are used are used for expectations for something that uh, it might happen in the future. For example, it's supposed to rain tomorrow. It's uh, supposed to to be cloudy. Okay. It's expected that a storm is coming during the weekend. I hope not. Not a, if it rains, welcome, but not a big storm. So it's a uh, and what was the sentence uh, regarding to this course? What was the sentence? Uh huh. You are okay. Let's say the students. Uh huh. The students is or are. Are expected are. to to improve their, their English. English. Yes. Yes. The students are expected to improve their English. Okay. The students are expected to pass the um, the course, or the students are expected to approve the course. Okay. In order to continue in a in, in a higher level. Okay. I'll give you. Three minutes. Could you write at least two sentences uh, using either way, expected, supposed, or acceptable? Write uh, write three sentences, small sentences, uh, two. I said two. At least two sentences in your notebook or whatever you can, and, and then you're going to share the sentence with us. Could you please do it? Are you writing? Yes, teacher. Okay, good, excellent. If you write in the chat, please just uh, uh, send it to me, okay? Not too old. It's not because I the, I don't want the other people see it. It's just anyway. I'm going to read then. I will read then when I have like five or six statements. I already got one. But remember, send it just to me, not to all. Uh, write in the, on the chat, please.
Okay, write it down on the chat. At least one sentence. Mm-hmm. Okay, I got two already. Ah, three. Good. I got three already. I think if, I think I got another one. Yes. Mm-hmm. One more. Okay. Ah, they are coming. <laughs> That's a good one. Okay. Uh huh. Uh, you're expected to uh, have a good score. It's it's one of the possibility, and the other is you're supposed to have a good score. Okay, so the connotation basically is in. Okay, guys, all the sentences are very good. Let me just uh, read them quickly. I hope that you just send it to me. I cannot see over here. Uh, when you work, you're expect to make a lot of money. That's right. Good. Uh, he says, I'm expected to improve my listening a lot with this class. Okay, good. Practice with the audios. If you make ex if you may exceed it, you're you're expected to have a good health. Uh, uh, exercise. Okay, yes, correct. When you learn a new language, you're expected to be a easy learner. Yes, if you already speak one language. Uh, it's easier, the uh, experts say that it's easier for you to learn another one. The problem is to learn one uh, to start with. And you're expected to pass, uh, to pass to the next level. Okay, to the next level. Uh, I hope that a good uh, job with this course and uh, I have better quality of life. Good. Okay, you're not using the rumor for over there, but it's a good idea. Fantastic, congratulations on the person who wrote that one. When you uh, drive to another country, you're expected not to have problems at the border. Okay, good. I go into Guatemala, right? And when you study a subject, you're expected to have a good score, yes. And when I expect someone to do their best, Okay, good idea. And you are invited to a birthday party, so you are supposed to take a present with you. Okay, you are supposed. Okay, great, congratulations. Thank you very much. Good sentences. Okay, just remember, um, uh, I'm not uh, correcting nobody. You had to correct yourself. But the, the, the mistake uh, were very little, were very slide over there the uh, a couple of you so you correct it yourself um look at the sentences over here that we say 
Let me minimize this one because I don't see it. So the costume, no ED. Ah, but uh, we use suppose with uh, a D because the verb is suppose. The last letter is SE and the other expect we use ED because it's in the it's in the passive voice like the passive voice uh, the th third form on the verb so uh costume no id suppose id uh and d and expect expected acceptable no id so the uh there was a couple of uh, very short um uh errors over there, or you call it mistakes, but the sentences, all of them, 100% good sentence with good meaning. Congratulations on that, guys. Thank you very much. Okay. Are you happy about it? Yeah? Of course. Of course. It's good. Be very optimistic. Okay, we're doing a good time today. I will not uh, make break up rooms. So there we have, and on your document, you have this uh, chart over there. So what do we have to do? Complete. Uh-huh. What do you have to do? Complete this. Complete this sentence with information about your country. About El Salvador. Okay. How can we, let's do the first one together. And then um, you can have come up with different ideas um, for the rest of the, of, the, of the part of the sentences. In my country, if people invite you to their home, what can we say over there? With respect to the people uh, breed to uh, something. Okay. Uh, you, you, Coca Cola. Okay. You're expected to bring something to eat. Okay. Another idea? Another idea? Someone else? Mm hmm. Girls, are ah, you quiet today? Let's see. Natalie, what do you think? In my case, I am um, supposed to uh, bring a dessert. Okay, in my country, if people invite you to their home, you're supposed to bring dessert or something extra. And you're expected, yes. Okay, uh, Isabel, what about number two? When you go out with friends for dinner, give an, a bright idea over there, Isabel. Ready? Uh, when go out with friends for dinner, I, I, you're supposed to uh, bring money. Okay, you're supposed to bring money and share expenses. Good, excellent. Uh huh. You're supposed to, or you can say I am supposed to. Okay, if you, uh, you feel that. Uh, but in this one, you're supposed to bring uh, some money and share expenses. Teacher, okay. Uh, yes. I have a question. Uh -huh. uh, where the word uh, is very, very good. Uh, bring, where is correct? Bring or, or carry? Um, in this case, bring. In bring. this case, bring money. Uh, you're supposed to bring money with you. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, and, and, and share expenses. Yeah, it would be bring. It would be okay. much better. Okay. Uh -huh. Thanks. You're welcome. Or you can say, uh, by the way, Isabel, you can say uh, you're supposed to have money with you also. Mm -hmm. You can oh, use okay. the, the very have. Uh -huh. Okay. 
para... I have a question. Yes. When I use expect to and when I use uh, supposed to. It's it's confused to me. I don't know. Uh, both sentences are the same, meaning the same, uh, Eda. So uh, the thing is that, for example, if I am referring to this course, uh, you are expected to pass the course with A and plus. But it's okay if I say, hey, Isabel, you're supposed to uh, pass this uh, course with A and plus. So I am saying the same thing. Okay. So it's, it's, uh, it's the informal way and um, um, kind of polite i don't know yeah or it's, it's it's more polite when you say um uh you're expected expect uh -huh. ah, okay. if, if, for example if i say uh i uh, uh rain is coming so it's it's supposed to rain uh later on ah, it's much okay. better uh-huh it's much better okay. than expected to rain it's supposed to rain later on uh you're expected to uh come on time to your class okay because ah, okay. it's, it's an action that someone else is performing. Mm -hmm. okay. 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 But both connotations is, is okay. Mm -hmm. But one is better than another one. I talk too much. <laughs> I talk too much. Okay, I think. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, please write uh, three... Um, uh, let's do uh, number three together, and then you write the other three. If a friend can get engaged to be to be married, uh huh, you are expected to make a party. Okay, you are expected to make a party. Uh huh. Another. Or you can say you're supposed to make a party, but um, uh -huh. but another idea. And what is the reason to make a party? What is the reason to make a party? Celebrate the engagement. Celebrate. Ah, celebrate, 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 and congratulate the people. So that's the reason. Okay, celebrate the the people and the the people engagement. I say people because they are two, or congratulate them. Okay, oh, that's oh, the fire firework party. Ah, uh, yes, uh, yes. Okay, a uh, firework party. That's in part of the activities that you do in the party. Okay, so that's the scene over there. For example, when a relative has a birthday. Write some ideas. We are doing it together, but uh, I will suggest you to write your own ideas also, or, or take some other. Uh -huh. When a relative has a big uh, has a birthday, birthday party, or a birthday, what they are you? They be. they yeah. expect to a party. <laughs> okay. Okay. They speak a party. And Saul, what's what's the other? Uh, it was the oh, beauty. Uh huh. Beauty. Uh huh. It was you or Francisco? No, Francisco. Ah, it was Francisco. Okay, Francisco. What was your idea? Yeah, you are to expect to a gift, a uh, 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 bring to a gift. Okay, you're expected to bring a gift for the for the uh, birthday boy for or birthday, birthday girl. Yes, you're expected to bring a gift. Okay. If a friend is in a hospital, you're expected to visit. Okay. What about bringing flowers? But in this case, it doesn't refer to the to the to your friend who is sick. It refers to the hospital. From depend where who is hospital because in security social uh, those permits. Okay, but which which verb will you use? 
expected, supposed, or acceptable? Um, acceptable. Acceptable. If a friend is in the hospital, it's acceptable to bring some flowers. If a friend is in a hospital, it's not acceptable to bring food. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, do you understand that one? Yes. yes. Because, uh huh. Not talking about liquor, right? <laughs> Even just food. So if a friend is in a hospital, it's not acceptable to bring food. But it's acceptable to bring flowers. And chocolate. And chocolate. <laughs> and it was a joke. <laughs> a beer. A beer, yeah. yeah. No, it's not acceptable. Okay, a good example. As an example, it's not acceptable to bring liquors. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, when someone is going to have a baby, you celebrate the uh, how do you baby, baby shower. Baby shower. Uh, okay, it's acceptable to plan a baby shower. Uh huh. And acceptable to bring the congratulation. Ah, it's acceptable to bring congratulation card. You are expected to bring congratulation card or something, okay, or a present, okay? Because now uh, baby showers were only for women, but nowadays men go also, right? So that's that's the thing over there. Okay, so this one is just a matter of practice, okay? And pointing the idea like, for example, just occurred to me, ah, in the hospital, okay, it's acceptable to bring, uh, the hospital accepts the flower. So the hospital say, okay, it's acceptable to bring some flowers, but it's not acceptable to bring food because they yeah, provide can, the food. Can, mm -hmm. Excuse me. I can yes. say for all of this, uh, it's acceptable to take a, 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 take a picture of this. Yes, it's acceptable to take photos or pictures of the people uh, who's um, there. But personally, I, I don't allow that. Or when someone dies, right? So, for example, um, when my, my, my mom died, uh, one of her sisters was taking pictures. And I asked her, please do not do that. Okay, yeah. so personally, that depends on the people and the culture also. Uh, we were witnesses of someone dying in Canada and we watched the whole thing on TV because it's their custom. Family yeah. has to be there, uh, all of them, and, uh, but not in our country. So uh, certain things are not discussable over here. So that's the way that we use supposed to, expected, uh, acceptable. And what was the other one? What was the other one? Um, acceptable, supposed, ah, the costume. Mm -hmm. Is yeah. the costume to bring flowers at the hospital. And that's part of the culture also. If I go and visit someone at, at, at the hospital, what do they have? Well, if it's, uh, what do they have? Flowers, okay? So, in certain hospitals, of course. So, it's a custom to bring flowers. Mm -hmm. Those, that's happening everywhere in El Salvador. Okay, so, uh, we, uh, before we go, and we're doing really good with the time tomorrow and uh, okay we'll um, end it up this course and there is a vocabulary over there expectations a ver, uh, claudia maria what is the definition of expectation claudia Marco Antonio. Okay. Yeah. Hope uh, for something. Ah, okay, hope so for something. Okay, very very brief definition. Well, could you read the the definition that it gives? Uh, 
the teacher's guy over there. Feelings. Uh, could, uh, Feelings or beliefs mm -hmm. about the way something should or how someone should behave. Yes. Okay. And be supposed to is yes. What is the word? That's synonym. Mm. Should. Should. So it's supposed to rain later on. It should rain later on. When do you get the supposed to or should? How do you know that it will rain? Sometimes it came uh, cloudy. Because it's um, cloudy, yes. Ah, Mr. Lopez is supposed to rain. Look, it's very cloudy over there. Okay. Yes, that, exactly. Thank you. And host, what is a host? Person giving a the person a giving a dinner or a car. And what is be acceptable? Considerate to be socially correct. Correct. Okay. Not just one person accept, but the whole society accept the situation. Like it's acceptable to bring some flowers. It's, as, it's not acceptable to bring food at the hospital for a patient. It's acceptable uh, in this case that you speak English all the time, okay? It's not acceptable when you are in a crowd and a crowd does not speak English. That's not acceptable because the people will think that they are talking about you, about them, I mean, sorry, about them. Okay, but if you're at, uh, in your case, guys, uh, it's important. If you're at work and someone else speak English and you want to practice, just talk to your uh, colleagues over there. Um, en español, ¿les importa si hablamos un poquito de inglés? Okay, solo para practicar. And people will understand. But if you use and start speaking English without asking them, and then they will think that they, you're talking about them. And that will be not acceptable. Okay. It will be acceptable. Look, it's acceptable that you talk to them first. Comprende la palabra acceptable? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh -huh, okay. Si, okay. Les, si los ponen en, en de, les importa si hablamos un poquito de inglés, queremos practicar. Oh, it will be acceptable. It's acceptable. But it's not acceptable if you just start using English. Sometimes you have to know the people. Okay, guys, it's time. Oh, by the way, uh, yesterday, for example, in the day before, I was looking at the corner of the screen and I was taking and counting the time because our videos need to be uh, one hour and so on. But we got, we are correct on it. Let me take the attendance and remember that tomorrow is the last day. So. Mm, please, oops, uh, I, I was in the correct one. I got it there. Uh, okay, aquí vamos. Uh, please say I'm here. And remember that soon also check your attendance, but uh, I had to uh, take it myself as well. Uh, uh, Carlos Alberto? Martí Present. Martinez? Claudia Maria Garcia? Present, Present teacher. Yeah. Uh, Daniel Daniela Mercedes Mendez? Daniela, eh, David Alonso Mejía. Present. Eh, Eda Lisset Pineda. Present teacher. Francisco Alexander Villafuerte. I am here. Okay, Glendy Lisset Flores. Ramírez. Present. Eh, Isabel Elizabeth Torres. Present teacher. Isaura Belia Vázquez. 
Present teacher. Luis Fernando Linares. Present. Eh, Marco Antonio Quijano. Is someone sends a message that is over there? Let me know, okay, because right now I can not see the message. Natalie Rebecca Peña. Present. Okay. Nubia Cristina Morales. Present teacher. Uh, uh, Raul Antonio Pérez. Present teacher. Rebecca Yoneli Hernández. Present teacher. Rebecca Paola Granados. Present teacher. Eh, Renato Salvador Ramírez. Present teacher. Eh, Ruth Marielo Amaya. Ruth. Marielos. Present. Ok. Eh, Raúl, Saúl, uh, sorry, Saúl Alexander Lozano. Present teacher. And Silvia Tatiana Costa Hernández. Present teacher. Okay, guys, thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow. Please practice your English using the audios over there. Sleep time. Don't miss the last class. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye -bye. Good night. Good night. Thank Good night. you. Good night. Ay, ¿qué pasó aquí? Okay, bye.